Hello everybody, this is EB the YouTube Poop Master here, and welcome to another video reaction. That's right, video reaction time for EB the YouTube Poop Master. Now today I got a really big, huge, um, video reaction. Today I'll be talking about the most dumbest Spanish educational series from the the world of Nick Jr. that everybody should have grown up with or know for the past few years, Dora the Explorer. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Dora the freaking Explorer. Boy, do I have so many negative influence about this show that I just wanted to spread out my religion and tell you guys how much terrible this Spanish-speaking culture show that is. So, Dora the Explorer was a Nick Jr. show that aired in 2000. And uh, I don't know when it made its final episode because Dory the Explorer makes no episodes, no more episodes because they're gay. Because I think they made their final episode. I don't know when they made their final episode. I don't care. So Dory the Explorer is a stupid little Asian, African. I said Asian. I'm sorry, she's not Asian. African American female. She's a girl, obviously, because Dora is a clearly a female name. Why will there be a guy named Dora? I mean, seriously, come on now. So Dora is the girl from Nick Jr. who is supposed to teach kids Spanish, but she does not know Spanish whatsoever because in Spanish, um, she does not teach kids about the conjugations of Spanish, future, present, or past tense. She doesn't teach the kids none of that. She doesn't. She doesn't teach kids about um, the Hispanic culture. She doesn't talk about worlds in South America. She doesn't talk about Colombia, Bolivia, Ecuador. She does not talk about any of the countries, I mean, any of the states in South America, even though it's a Spanish-speaking show. So she has a monkey named Boots. She's her friend. I mean, seriously, where are Dora's parents at this point? I bet Dora's parents are like, okay, Dora, you can go up and go out in the woods, but be back before noon. My God, this show ain't got no better sense to do in itself. So Dora's supposed to teach kids about Spanish, but she does not. She does not teach kids the full language. I mean, she teaches kids Spanish in a level one aspect. She doesn't teach kids about any of that garbage. So, yeah, it's supposed to teach kids about Spanish. It's a very terrible show. So in each episode... Dora and Boots have to has to complete a specific task in order to adventure their ways in the woods. Yes, Dora lives in the forest. I mean, why would you live in the forest? That's another reason why Dora can't be an explorer because she's because she's under the age group. She's like, how old is Dora? Six, seven? I don't know. She's probably like in elementary school or something because she's obviously in elementary school. She doesn't have an education. Doesn't teach kids about the math or anything. So problems with this darn show: the map. So Dora has a map, right? She has a stupid map that keeps saying, I'm the map, and everything. It's really annoying, and it's just, it just, just makes, makes your brain explode off your head for some odd reason. Dora asks her some of the stupidest questions on the face of this earth. Where's the mountain? I mean, seriously, she doesn't take the time to, to search for the mountain herself. She stares at you for five seconds until a mouse pops up out of nowhere, clicks on the ma mountain, and then says, there's the mountain. No, you didn't look for the mountain. We helped you found it. Why can't you? Oh, God, this show is so stupid. Seriously, this show has no creativity whatsoever. None of the episodes are creative because the, the, the writers for Dory the Explorer or, or even more brainwashed than the writers from SpongeBob SquarePants for crying out loud. Even he has more logical sense than a stupid African American girl. Her head is her head is shaped like a football. Yeah, Dora's head is clearly shaped like a football. I mean, what kind of a what kind of a head structure is that? Is so you tell me your skull is shaped like a football too? Come on now, seriously. What were the what were the illustrators thinking drawing the characters for this show? Come on, environmentalists, everybody, let's go. No, we're not going anywhere. What makes me mad about this show is that it's, it's really stupid. Boots, the freaking monkey, keeps saying, where do we go next after that same song that they be singing in throughout the whole episode? Boots, do you listen? 
is your brain cells are working because you clearly should know where you got to go next because you sing that stupid annoying song over and over again to remind to remind you guys where to go next so Robert the Fox his dumb self running around that forest uh oh that's why for the fox that sneaky fox is always stealing her stuff He's gonna steal our book bags. We have to say swiper, no swiper. Why can't Dora get a get a tranquilizer gun and shoot swiper for crying out loud? Teach the kids about survival. I mean, come on now. You got a fox with a bandana running around the woods, snapping his fingers, saying, "Oh man, just because he can't get stuff that he wants." <sighs> this show makes me want to vomit all over my TV screen. How bad the writers, how bad the show is badly written. They got some other side characters on the show. They got a bull, a squirrel, not Sandy. It's a purple squirrel in, in Dory the Explorer who is driving a little yellow car. I mean, seriously. This show came a year after SpongeBob, and the episodes are still not as good as, as the show in SpongeBob is. Supposed to teach kids about Spanish. It does not teach kids it does not teach kids Spanish. It doesn't. Uh, it just teaches kids about level one Spanish, like hola. And, and Vamanos, and Arriba, and Abajo, level one Spanish language. You just have to teach kids about conjugation, like jugar, she doesn't say jugar, cantar, she doesn't say any of those Spanish words, but the basics ones. Kids, if you want to learn Spanish, just go to school and learn Spanish, just go to school. But in, order, in fact, some schools require Spanish in order to graduate. See, Dora can't even let the kids let them know themselves. The kids are probably like, ooh, let's learn from Dora. Maybe Dora would be our Spanish teacher. No kids, not learn from Dora. Just go to school, learn Spanish from an actual Spanish teacher who lives in the freaking South America region. Get your degree, go to college, get a good job, and bam! You can be successful in life, kids. This is why kids need to learn from their parents, not from no stupid Dora the Explorer, not no SpongeBob or Barney the Dinosaur. They don't teach kids nothing. They teach kids to be battle independent, just like in Barney. You can be whatever you want to be. No, you can't, Barney. You're telling the kids to lie. You can't just automatically become a firefighter. You have to have the proper education to be a firefighter. You can't just go out there and be a firefighter, whatever you want to be. You gotta have the education. Come on, Barney. Teach the kids about the education. Come on, Dory. Do the same thing, too. Dory the Explorer sucks. Stay away from the show. Boots the monkey. Hope he gets shot by a... Hope he gets ran over by a Jeep. Dory the Explorer. She should have never been on TV, the first of all. And Go Diego Go, the sequel to Dora the Explorer, is even worse. Dora's annoying cousin. How come Diego's head is shaped like a normal head, but not Dora's? They're that giant lemon-shaped head. Just, just stay away from Dora the Explorer. I don't even know why this show even existed. In English, we say up. But in Spanish, we say arriba. Of course we know up is English. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Of course we know the word. Of course we know up is in English, it's up. Don't say in English, we say up. Because we know that because we, we're in America. See, that's another reason why this show is stupid. <sighs> you know, I'm just done with this rant. I'm just done with this rant. Dora the Explorer, terrible show. I don't even recommend people watching this show anymore because the Nickelodeon or Nick Jr., whatever the company is called, just don't know what they're doing. Yeah, hope Boots the Monkey gets hit by a car along with Dora. Yeah, she can get hit by, hit by a car too, singing, come on, Vamanos, everybody, let's go. We're going to get a rifle and shoot Swiper Depox. Yeah, we can shoot Swiper too along the way. I mean, seriously, he takes their stuff, say, you'll never find it now. It's up in the tree, Swiper, we can find it. Swiper the Fox sucks at hiding stuff, man. He takes their stuff, throw it up in a tree, and say, you'll never find it now. Five, five or ten seconds later, we find the object. Wow, Swiper, you're the master of hiding stuff, aren't you? You're the master of hiding stuff. Stuff. Seriously, teach the kids about survival. Get a stick or a rifle and shoot Swiper to death. Don't just sit there. And so, and another thing about Story of the Explorer. The, the, the episodes, the villains in Story of the Explorer really aren't villains. They, they become villains in the beginning. At the end, they become nice. That just proves right there how dumb the plots are. Don't be selfish. Be a nice pal. Why do the villains in Dora the Explorer become nice at the end of the episodes? That's not a villain. That's a that's like a. I don't even, I don't even think there were villains. I think they were just good guys who just have a negative influence. And then towards the end, they say, "Oh, I'm sorry. What I I'm sorry. All this bad troubleness I caused. I'll be your best friend." Stop making the villains nice. 
Dora the Explorer. That's exactly why you don't. That's exactly why you don't know how to make good episodes. Yeah, stay away from Dora the Explorer. Stay away from Dora, Boots, Swiper, Book, Benny, Tico, and Issa. All of them characters. I hope they. Oh, oh no. Let me tell you one thing. I just hope um a whole bunch of. I hope. Uh, sorry if I'm stuttering a lot. If I wasn't Dora the Explorer, I would literally if look, just picture this. If I was Dora the Explorer, what would I do? What would I do? I would get a tranquilizer gun and a stick in my hand. If I ever see someone with the fox, I'm gonna bash him so hard until the skull pops out of his head. Then he'll die. There'll be blood gushing all over the place, and then I'll be singing the We Did It song because I killed Swiper at the end of the at the end of every freaking episode. This is what Dora says. We had such a good time today. What is your favorite part? Um, I like the part when Boots, that's my favorite part too. I wasn't finished, Dora! Mm. She does not give the kids time to say what their favorite part was. You say it, she says, I like that part too, not even when you're finished yet. My favorite part is when we went up the mountain. That's my favorite part too. What's so favorite about going up a mountain, Dora? Let me, Dora's parents should get arrested. They should. For letting a five or six year old girl out in the woods with a monkey, uh, I don't care if it's a cartoon. This is not how kids should be treated this way. Okay, the, the rant's done. The rant's done. Just done. Dorothy Explorer sucks. Terrible show. Terrible. Thanks for watching. Bye.